What's going on internet? Jossie Joss here and I have another box to unbox for you today. Today I'm going to be doing the, I want to say it's the May 2017 um, Legion of Collectors box. Um, it's because we've been, I've been getting boxes late lately. Like they're coming way, either way at the end of the month or they're even pushing into the next month. Uh, like my loot crate stuff. Um, but, you know, I'm not sure 100% if this box was supposed to be for April or May. So I'm saying it's May because we're already on what May, today's May 6th. Um, you know, so almost, you know, mid, almost 10 days into May, almost, almost, almost. And so I'm assuming this is for May. If it's wrong, I'll edit it um, in the title. Obviously it'll say the correct thing. Um, but I wanna say it's May. If it's April, then eh, whatever. But but I wanna say it's May. I wanna say that they, they're, they're sending their stuff on time. Anywho. It's Legion of Collectors box, and the next box for this month, or whatever month, is Wonder Woman. You got the silhouette of her face right there. If you recall, the Legion of Collector box is one of the four now Funko collab boxes that they have. Funko is collabing with DC, which is this one. They're uh, collabing with Marvel, which is the Marvel Collector Core box. They're collabing with uh, Star Wars, which is the Smuggler's Bounty box. And then they just recently did Disney, um, is it the Disney Treasures box or something? I forget exactly the name of it. And it was like Captain Hook or Peter Pan themed or something. Um, everyone was asking me if I was going to get that because I work at Disneyland and I collect stuff. Um, no, <laughs> I have, uh, I actually have a trip to Florida that I'm saving up for and that's all the way in November. So I want to kind of keep my purchases a little bit down to a, to a point. A little bit. Anyway. Back to this box, back to the Legion of Collectors box for the month of May, I believe. Uh, Wonder Woman theme. We open up, we get the patch and the pin, and they're actually pretty well applied to stay on here. So that's what it looks like. We got these comic images of Wonder Woman on the inside. So the pin, wow, the glue is like super, super strong, which is good. We got the Wonder Woman logo here, Legion of Collectors on there, and then the patch Ugh. is her like eyes with the crown and stuff that says Wonder Woman on it, so pretty awesome. All right, open it up, and we have a card that obviously tells us what's going to be in it, so we're going to not look at that. So it looks like we have two pop figures today if you want to see what's inside the box there. Uh, we'll get to those in a bit. Let's go to these. It looks like socks. Is it socks? Looks like Funko's doing socks now. They're just dumping into every part, you know, type of clothing that they can get into shirts and hats, scarves. And they did home, the whole home series of those, you know, salt and pepper shakers and mugs. And now, you know, they did keychains, the pop figures, and now they're doing socks. So. Looks like a pair of Wonder Woman socks. It's Wonder Woman in pop form, you can kind of tell. So that's kind of cool. They're, they're kind of thin though for me, but you know. Oh, and I didn't even notice like the design on the bottom. It's like blue stars with the black background. Cool, Wonder Woman socks. Um, there is a, I'm gonna get to the pops last, but there is a pint size hero of Wonder Woman. I'm gonna open this guy up. These are actually really, really cute. And there you go. Little pint-sized hero, little Wonder Woman, tiny little Wonder Woman. Super chibi Wonder Woman. I guess it's fitting since the movie will be coming out eventually. I don't know when exactly, but soonish should be coming out. I'll leave that there. All right, so there's two pops, so one um, is going to be uh, kind of obvious, and then the other one's kind of not so obvious. So I believe these are from a movie. Um, so the one, I'm going to pull out the not so obvious one. Uh, not so obvious one is Dr. Maru. Um, I, I don't know who this is. The movie hasn't come out yet. It looks like a, a, a woman, cause based off of the eyelashes. But she's wearing like green, almost like a, like a pilot suit. And it's got uh, goggles, so I don't know what character or what her, uh, you know, 
role is in the movie. So if you guys know, especially if you guys follow comics, uh, who is Dr. Maru? What does he or she do? I'm assuming she. Um, but interesting. And she looks like she's got like some weird scar on her face. Or if, unless that's part of her like helmet or something. So explain to me. Uh, and the last item in the box is, of course, you can't have a Wonder Woman box without Wonder Woman herself. So the Wonder Woman pop, and it's based off of the movie version, I believe. Yeah. Um, apparently there's two different types of Wonder Woman, or three types of Wonder Woman. So this one, the one we got, which is the DC Legion of Collectors exclusive, she's got the Lasso of Truth, and she's gonna, you know, kind of... I got whooping it <laughs> in the air. You can kind of see it in there. Um, but there's another one where she's holding a shield and a sword, and another one with uh, some other shield that she has like on the side. Um, so that's kind of cool. Oh, and then there's even a couple of other Wonder Women, I guess you can call it. Um, there's the one with with her. She's an Amazon, so like that's in that in the previews if you've seen for the movie, and then in the blue dress, which is also in the previews. So, but this is the more classic uh, Wonder Woman scene with the crown and the, the red and blue outfit with the Lasso of Truth out. So, the details are actually really, really pretty on this. I mean, they're getting a lot, they're getting a lot more intricate now, with, uh, especially with the boxes, since they're uh, exclusives to the box. Um, but that is all that is in the uh, Legion of Collectors box for May. Assuming it's May, uh, 2017, with the theme of Wonder Woman. Um, my favorite item in the box. I, I like socks, but the socks are kind of meh. So I actually really like the Wonder Woman pop. Uh, just the details in her costume are really, really cool. Uh, plus, I'm anticipating the movie. And, like, I'm looking forward to it a lot. I I didn't watch Batman versus Superman thing whatever, that one. I mean, I think I've seen parts of it, but I haven't seen it in, in its entirety. Uh, I've heard a lot of negative things about it. Um, I have an open mind, so eventually I'll get to watch it, but I heard that her role in the, in the movie and her, uh, um, just her acting and everything like that was actually awesome. And growing up, you know, having someone like Wonder Woman to look up to as a character, uh, to see that she's a strong, independent woman, uh, that is uh, saving lives and being the superhero is a really awesome uh, example of some type of role model for growing girls like when they're younger so that's really really cool so the fact that they're doing this is really awesome and it's the first major uh, comic book character theme like female-led film I think I think because we had the, I mean Elektra was something like that too but the hype wasn't even near like near the level that the hype for Wonder Woman is so we shall see how it does when it eventually comes out all right so now we go to the card and on the card also uh, it tells you what the next box will be the theme is for the Legion of Collectors it's Batman the animated series which is amazing 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 uh, I remember growing up and watching that after school um, I was more of a Disney afternoon type kid but I did occasionally catch the Batman <coughs> animated series and obviously the classic Joker character was voiced by Mark Hamill um, and obviously if you don't know who uh, Bam, uh, Mark Hamill is just watch any Star Wars movie and you'll know him as Luke Skywalker so that's really cool um, I met him in person he's actually a very very nice man and um, the cool story about that meeting was I was in the room and there was a lady who was uh, kind of a, doing a combo cosplay and she merged uh, Mandalorian, so the Boba Fett looking character in that armor with Harley Quinn and then the classic Harley Quinn with the red and black. And as she was leaving, after she had done the meet and greet with Mark Hamill, she was leaving, she says bye to him um, with her Harley Quinn type accent. You're like, bye Mr. J. And Mark Hamill, in all his glory, uh, responds back in his Joker voice, you know, like, I'll see you later or something. I forget exactly, because I think I was just in awe of the fact that he was doing the voice in front of my face, and he was, like, you know, like, five feet away from me. Uh, but that was a really, really awesome moment, so that was kind of a cool, like, little crossover with the Batman the Animated Series and all that stuff, so...
Yeah. <laughs> let's look at what we get in the box. So, um, let's see. Okay, so it looks like Dr. It says Dr. Isabel Maru. So this, she has a nickname, Dr. Poison. So I'm assuming she's a villain. Uh, it says there's a controversial chemist de developing a mysterious new chemical weapon. She takes great joy in her work and in the death it causes. Yeah, that's very villain sounding. It doesn't sound like she's a superhero at all. Um, and then everyone got the Wonder Woman one. And it talks about how the Lasso of Truth made it to the first appearance of the cover of the Sensation Comics number 6. It was a reward from the gods for her outstanding work in Sensation Comics 1 to 5. So I guess the last she didn't have the Lasso of Truth originally. She received it as a gift. And... Let's see. Socks. So... Uh, it says, wear your new exclusive socks to see Wonder Woman at the movies. And apparently, if you have this box, they have a contest. It says, share your picture with us for a chance to win an awesome prize. And then you have the hashtag, SockIt2MWW. That's hashtag S-O-C-K-I-T-T-O-E-M-W-W. So if you happen to get this box, you can do that. Um, I don't know if I'm going to do that, but we'll see. Uh, everyone got the... Uh, the mini thing, the mini pint size hero, like mini thing, I don't even know the name of it. Um, so it, they show you basically like how it goes from sculpt and then what colors they add. Um, and apparently, there's a little trivia, it says, she was originally called Suprema the Wonder Woman, but her name was shortened before she made her comic book debut. Suprema. Sounds like a pizza. <laughs> so I'm kind of glad they got rid of that. Um, and then they have the pin and the patch, which is pretty much the iconic Wonder Woman logo and her eyes. All right. Well, that's it for the May 2017 Legion of Collectors box with the theme of Wonder Woman. Um, if this looks like a box that you might be interested in uh, getting subscribed to, I'll go ahead and put information in the description below. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already done so, please subscribe to my channel. I have a whole bunch of other unboxing videos that are on there and tasting videos and other things as well. Um, so hopefully you'll find something you like. Anyway, any, uh, anyway, that's it from me. Thank you for watching. Thanks for all your support. And have a great night, everybody. Bye.